I was in uh, Chile, South America, uh, just a few weeks ago and was meeting with uh, Carlos Cordon, one of the most wanted men in the world. Interpol has a red notice on him. And I can tell you that uh, the reason he, he has a red notice because the United States told Interpol to put a red notice on him. We had a red notice put on him. Can, and you, can 20, you explain what that is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so red notice means you're the one, most wanted Peop, a man in the world. I mean, that uh, there's very few people that have a red notice on. Do you them. get like a plaque for that? You can put up <laughs> on your wall, like a YouTube subscriber level. I mean, like that is. Uh, it I mean, is uh, a level that most people will never reach or <laughs> never want to reach. Yeah. No, no. I mean, people think it's one thing if you're on the FBI's most wanted yeah. list, but this is for the whole world. Uh, so, what do you have to do? Who do you have to make mad to yeah, right. be to ha ha for them to actually go that, to that link to put a red notice on you? And in this case. Uh, it was Uncle Sam, you know, he he did the bidding of the United States. Uh, he's a brilliant man. He is really a metallurgist, uh, studies metals uh, and, and did in the United States. It's where he got his degree, hmm. uh, University of Utah. And and so he really is just excellent at metals. And so he invented the cluster bomb, patented it, by the way, in the United States. We patented it for him. Uh, he had been supplying it at our request to certain nations, including uh, Ira Iraq and Saddam Hussein, starting in like 1980. And so for over a decade, he was doing that wherever we asked him or with our approval. And then when uh, and, I, and and Saddam Hussein was our ally, actually, uh, for most of the 80s, he, he was people forget that they man. were with us against Iran and uh but then whenever he invaded Kuwait in 92, it became politically expedient for us to distance ourselves from him. And then obviously uh, HW uh, went after him and that was Operation Desert Storm. And uh, that is what soured the relationship. And so the United States needed a fall guy. And so we burned one of our greatest assets who did nothing but what we asked her with our approval. And so what he has been a prisoner in his own home and country for 30 years. And when I was on my way to me, I'm thinking, you know, if you were a prisoner in your home for 30 years, how would you feel against the people who did that to you wrongly? You know, um, how would you be bitter? Would you be over it? Would you not care anymore? But let me tell you, he absolutely did care. I spent several days with him. You went to his house? I went to his house. And I broke bread with him, and we were able to 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 speak about things candidly. Uh, and I can tell you, the problem is that uh, when the political winds change, even if you're doing what is asked of you, when they needed someone to burn, they burned him. Mm. Uh, and we didn't just burn him; they wanted him to just stay there and rot, and which he has for these all these years, these decades. And so uh, he, yes, he's still he, he's bitter about it. Who wouldn't be? But the reason he agreed to to meet and talk about it was because he wants to clear his name. Mm. He did nothing wrong. He only did what was asked of him. And he wants because Proverbs says a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Right. This man who's made billions of dollars understands that had manufacturing companies around the world understands that his name is important he has children he's got a legacy and uh but that's just symptomatic i was just having last week the issue same issue with liberia uh sanctions that were slapped on liberia that were unjust look i'm, I'm all for just but the problem is we're applying the wrong standards of justice to the to to the wrong people so do you feel like uh, if you were to become the president, you'd have the policy uh, experience to fix this stuff and to help our reputation a little better? Absolutely. It's a matter of doing right. That's why you'll hear me state so many times that I will do what's right by American citizens and by the people and nations of the earth, because every last one of the people outside of the United States understand what I'm saying when I say that. American citizens, still half of them don't know that the government's lying to them about everything. Yeah. Uh, but everyone outside has, many of them have been brutalized by and beaten and bullied by the United States with sanctions, with corruption. So are they we, are we, we are. the bad guy? Around the world, uh, it, we are the, the, the bad guy that no one wants to talk about. They can't stand up to us yet. But see, it's like any bully. 
uh, you can't really stand up to them until there's enough of you, until you've built up your war chest enough that you can survive independently of them. And most of the countries cannot su- survive independently of the United States. And you want to once f- they can okay. with the de-dollarization, mm-hmm. once they can stand and don't need us. Oh, now they will be honest. So you're saying instead of beating them with the dollar and with the military, you're saying invest, do and do right by them. But take people that we've really burned and done wrong because we didn't like. What, how it made us look, mm-hmm. right? It was a, a bruise to our ego. So then we're going we're gonna to marginalize you and destroy your life. Uh, well, you probably have children, and those children that carry your last name aren't going to be too happy with the United States. You just made enemies out of however many children they have and all the people connected to, to, to them. And so they're going to spend their whole life trying to get retribution. It is a national security thing. You want, if I want your family to sleep soundly tonight, I have to do right as president of the United States by other people, because then there's not an incentive to attack. Yeah, I think it's interesting. You know, they, they always say history is written by the victor. And uh, I think that a lot of our history leaves out the impact that we've had um, uh, in these these countries, these communities. And I think it's, uh, you know, we, we kind of touched on this when we were just chatting last night, but um, I think there's a lot of young uh, leftists, we'll say, mm-hmm. um, Democrats in this country that may be excited to hear you say these things and, and hear you at least be sensitive to um, the, the power dynamics that exist between the U.S. and, and other nations and other world leaders. Um, you know, this relationship of, of the oppressor and the oppressed, um, the, the victimizers and, and the victims. Right. And I think it, it sounds like in your personal relationships that you've had with many of these leaders in these communities, you have um, a greater understanding um, perhaps than than what I've heard anyway, um, some of the other candidates on, on the right side of the aisle talk about. But to your point, the oppressors versus the oppressed, I, I appreciate their heart. Mm-hmm. Every last young person on TikTok and everybody else that has this, you know, a, a heart for other people and compassion. The problem is people older, smarter, more manipulative than them are manipulating their emotions. It's the right feeling expressed the wrong way. Mm. So it's great to, to, to have this compassion for the oppressors or for the oppressed against the oppressors. The problem is we've manipulated who the oppressor and the oppressed are. Mm. And we have, we have, uh, really brainwashed you into defining who that is. And it's exactly opposite. That's why evil is called good today and good is called evil, but they do it out of a, out of a genuine place. Mm -hmm. And yet it's completely opposite of what it should be. And I, and I agree with that fully. I think there is a, I think in many cases, uh, people's hearts are in the right place. They're, they're leading with compassion and emotion Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and love in a lot of cases, but it manifests in misguided rage and hate and frustration. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you want to see the full podcast, be sure to click on the link in the description. And if you feel like it, hit subscribe.